Thank you very much, uh, Vittorio Bettola, an other Italian in the audience. Yeah, thank you. No, my comment is really actually about the, the graph. And since we have the Italian government, I, I'd actually like to make an example which uh, also regards the Italian government. So, I mean, th there's a, a big argument going on actually between the Italian government and the European Union on whether the Italian government can emit some bonds that seem to look a bit too much like currency. So, in the European Union, of course, says you're, you cannot do that because that's, I mean, you already have the euro, you're not allowed. And then yesterday, Facebook comes and says, yeah, we've created the new currency for the internet. So it's us and uh, Visa and MasterCard, and this will be the new currency. And apparently, no one has a problem with that. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the, I think we, we really, that all this discussion, I mean, don't we think that all this discussion are a bit moot if we cannot find a way to bring all these big uh, foreign, by a European viewpoint, uh, companies that are actually shaping the future? into a, a bigger discussion and under check in a way. So this, I guess, is also what the graph wanted to say. I think I got some interesting material for you in your panel. Uh, Thank you very much. And uh, for the audience, the next time we come out, I'd love some questions from the, the women in the audience as well as the men. Thank you. Um, can I turn to the panel? Uh, State Secretary Fantinati, can yeah. I uh, start with you? on the, the, the remarks made by Vittorio there um, about, uh, and also your general reactions, we saw from the audience that they're more worried about unchecked corporate power than they are about over-regulation. So this is your moment as governments to get the regulation right. How are you going to do it? Yes. I it's, it's a problem, I know that. Um, we are against sort of a regulate, too regulated uh, and sometimes unless re regulated. So what I can say that uh, the, it's about the situation of the Italian government now that is slightly different from, that is slightly different from the other states. Uh, the problem is that uh, uh, we are a central government and we can take some uh, decisions for the central and not for the local administration. And I'm talking just like I'm the secretary of the public ad administration. My point of view is to, is to reduce the treaty in 2013. We have to reduce the, the digital divide. And not only for the people digital divide, but even the company digital divide and even for the public administration digital divide. So there are several ways to do that. Uh, one that we are going to pursue, and I'm, and I'm talking like Italian government, uh, it's, uh, it's a bit different uh, okay. for some aspects. One is due to our constitution, because our local administration in, in Italy, and I mean region, and I mean province, are independent. So we can say, we, as a government, we want to digitalize uh, all, the, all the Italy service but it's just how our thinking is not the way of our province, it's not the way our regions. The, the main issue is the problem of interoperability between the data center, and so we, ca we, have to, we come back to the uh, security safe of the data centers. In Italy, we have more of the 11,000 data centers. This is not the number that I, I'm afraid is that the data center, most of them, they don't talk each other. So we have a problem of interoperability. So sometimes, and I think to, to, to reduce the digital divide, you have to invest on education, in knowledge, and to think that uh, what you are doing is for the healthy of the people. So uh, it's sort of a win-and-win strategy. It's not just a rule and you have to do in this way because I... I, I I am, I, I am the boss. It's just to try to say we are, a, we are leading in a, a solution for the citizen and for the companies. Thank you very much. Bill Wu. 